Seth Rudetsky. I'm sitting here with Miss America! Unfortunately, 1998. <laughs> so, that part's devastating. Um, so, Kate Shin, although I do have judgments about beauty pageants, it's a scholarship program, aha, uh -huh, with the bikini. The point is, what was your uh, platform? That I do respect. Go. Oh, thank you. Uh, AIDS education. AIDS education AIDS prevention. AIDS education. Now, when you're Miss America, you have to tour around the country and like cut ribbons and stuff like that. Now, how could your platform <clears throat> be AIDS education if you were in the deep south here? Didn't you have to change it to like baking pies education? Yeah, no, they would ask me to come and talk about AIDS, but then they would give me a list of words I couldn't say, like condom AIDS? or oh, gay. Right. Yeah. Wait, you couldn't say condom? Couldn't say condom, couldn't say gay. Watch your Oh, sorry. Um, couldn't say condom or gay. They so didn't want me to say gay, straight, lesbian, bisexual, condoms. They didn't want me to talk about needle exchange. Like, basically, come talk to our kids about AIDS, but don't say any of the words that are important. So I quickly learned to say, oh, okay, that's fine, but if you give me an open, you know, once, once we get to question and answer, you know, for the sake of cred, if the kids ask the questions, I have to be able to answer them honestly. And they like, allow that? Oh, because they never thought their kids would ask about any of that stuff. Well, our, our kids, well, they'll never ask about condoms. But if you say protection enough time, in like the course of your speech, at the end, like the first question is always going to be, well, what do you mean when you say protection? And you're like, oh, well, condoms, you know? <laughs> amazing. So like I couldn't put it in my speech, but I learned to like backdoor it, you know? And, and uh, the amazing thing actually about it was that the places that invited me and were most excited to have Miss America were the same places AIDS activists couldn't get into for years. So you were they, a secret AIDS activist. Exactly. I mean, like, I, they knew that I wanted to come there and talk about that, but they figured I would do it in a slightly different way. So they, like, roll out the red carpet. Oh, the principal wants to see the crown and, like, blah, 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 blah. And so AIDS activists in those communities that have been trying to get into those schools for years and years and had never been allowed um, were really excited about it, too. Because I see you saved lives, price. dear. I hope so. Because you had to have. I hope so. I, I mean, I, I think... You know, anytime somebody talks about protecting yourself. That is a bra to the bra. Okay, I say bra bra. Now, bra to the bra. But even more important than saving lives is high belting. So Kate Schindel added a crazy high A flat at the end of, you know, uh, Leg Legally Blonde, Legally Blonde. At the end of uh, the Legally Blonde remix. Legally Only to Blonde. pull focus. Like, <laughs> no, wait, really? Why? What, why well, it wasn't written, right? And I started that number. And oh, you began? You were the first song. I was the singer, right? That was my only song in the show that I sang by myself. And then the whole ensemble joined in and it became this huge company number. So at the end, I figured, well, I better do something. So Alex Lackamore was the. Yeah, not an <laughs> full option. split, not gonna work. Um, Alex Lackamore was the music director at the time we were doing the workshop. And I was like, what if I. And he, he was all for it. So that's how it became part of the show because. I kind of had to give away the number, and I figured, well, I better get it back. Get the spotlight back. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I approve. Now, the thing is, Kate Channel has done some other shows, and I feel that if that A-flat had been added, perhaps things would have been a lot better. Yeah. For instance, Cabaret, yes, it ran on Broadway, but not long enough. Kate Channel was a Sally Bowles in her day, and perhaps the run would have been even longer if maybe this time sounded like this. Mm -hmm. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. could have added at least eight to ten months. Now, <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde never turned a profit, ran forever. Ugh. Would it have turned a profit if Kate Channel, you were what, 22 years old we did it on Broadway? Well, like, yeah, 22, 23. And, and, and at, the end of the, at the end of the first act, there's that big song, Someone Like You, which is just huge, and that gets really quiet Yeah, it gets really quiet again. What the hell is that about? The end of the act. Shouldn't it be this? If. Wait, how's it going? So, if someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. If someone like you. Schindel won the crown from Miss America. Don't worry to my parade. Perhaps she wouldn't have won Miss Universe if she'd simply ended oh. it with is gonna rain on my parade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm now out. You're bleeding. <laughs> and deaf.